Okay, in this example, we are going to use a IRB 1410 robot with a suction gripper to pick up and drop a small uh, cube which is positioned on a table. The table itself is at position from the world coordinate system 600 millimeters minus 350 millimeters zero. And the little cube is 60 by 60 by 60. So the first thing I'm going to do is move the robot down into a um, position close to the actual cube. My robot has jumped a little bit astray there, so I'm just going to reset it back to the whole position. Jump home. Okay. So bring it down and back. I'm going to rotate it. Perfect. I'm going to teach this position. So set the tool to gripper, teach target. Now I would also like to teach the target on the top of the cube. Create target, click on surface selection, click on center, make sure your mouse that the X axis is active, and press on the top when you've got that, press create. Okay, and close. I want to view tool at target, so view tool at target, <coughs> and you can see that the actual tool is upside down there. Uh, and if you look at the axis, you can see that the blue axis is pointing up, or actually the axis on the tool, it is pointing down. That's the z-axis. So I'm going to have to modify the target. So right-click, modify target, rotate, and I'm going to rotate it about the y-axis, 90 degrees. Another 90. Okay, just want to turn off for a second robot a target. I just want to see the um, let me put the robot back up. Right click, view robot at target, and then I want to turn off that function. I just want to see the tool at the target here. Okay, so it all looks good. The x axis is lined up, the y axis is lined up, and the z axis is down. Perfect. And if you robot a target, right click, view robot a target. Perfect. So now what I would like to do is to set up a connection between the outputs on the robot and the input on the suction cup. So to do that, we go to um, controller, configuration, IO, configuration editor, signals, Right click here, a new signal. So let's call it gripper. The signal type is a digital output coming from the robot. And the axis level has to be set to all. Press OK. It will give you a warning to say that you need to reboot the robot. So we go for a warm restart. The robot is now restarted. So if you click on simulation, station logic, signals and connections and now we press the add IO connection be careful that you do not use the add IO signals it's an IO connection we need at this stage so the source object is demo 1 that's the name of my system here sorry demo system and it's gripper and the target object is the backing gripper DI grip press OK I can check that by pressing design and you can see that the system is now giving an output to the vacuum gripper. Perfect. Back to layout. One thing that you should note here on the, uh, 
the vacuum gripper is that the vacuum gripper will not work if it's directly on the piece it needs to be about one mil above it so if I go to layout press on vacuum gripper put into the properties if I turn on and off the vacuum gripper you can see that it's not attaching so I need to make a small alteration in the target here I will right click change my target position and in the world coordinate it's sitting on the table at 60 high and it's sitting on the table which is 400 high so it's 460 mil and now we're going to change that to 461 millimeters apply close and you can see it just jumped up there a little bit if I now go back to the layout look at my vacuum gripper go to the properties and you can see now it's now attaching detaching okay so just be careful of that it needs to be one millimeters above the component for it to work now in the second part then we'll I'll show you how to create a pat and uh, we will uh, lift the object and drop it back down someplace thank you